Well, hello everybody and welcome back to C.L. Aldridge Art. This is the Sunday follow-up edition where I will continue coloring what we started on Sunday using these beautiful deli colored pencils. These are oil-based pencils and uh, the uh, drawing, of course, is my own. So please stay tuned and we'll get started. Now I do want to start out by saying that this is a voiceover video. For those who don't know me, my name is Christine Aldridge. I am an artist. I do draw coloring books for a living. Uh, I started this on Sunday and uh, I am coloring it in beautiful jewel tones. Uh, this is sort of my contribution to the February uh, 2020 hashtag. Uh, folks uh, were coloring um, beautiful fairies. And uh, so in my mind, I have made up a story about this particular uh, drawing and, uh, and what it actually might be. But I am using my absolute favorite. I do have to say that I think that my Deli Star Joys are even, I like them even better than my Prismas, um, only because they sharpen so much sharper uh, for me and um, the, the, the cores seem stronger. They're a much harder pencil, but they are beautiful. So I am using just a series of greens uh, and building a bit of an amethyst green um, border around the what is a fan intake <laughs> and I should I, I'll, I'll tell you the story as we get closer to having it all colored in I do hope everybody is well today if you like what you see here if you love to color beautiful things please do consider liking and subscribing to my channel uh, and uh, I will color for you and show you the latest things that I have drawn up uh, by the way, this drawing is available in my Etsy shop now. Um, it is around. Uh, it, you just print it on an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper. Uh, it comes in a PDF form. Um, and it's $1.50 in the shop. So uh, these particular pencils do not have color names. Uh, they do have numbers, and I did toy with the idea of adding the numbers in for you. But pretty much what you're just going to want to do is choose a, a medium, a light, and uh, a, a dark. You know, a medium, a light, and a very dark green. And, um, and put your darkest green on the outside. Work your lighter green a a little further in and you're going to finish it off with the light green uh, which in my case the light green there is only one super light green and it is a chartreuse type color uh, which I love absolutely love and I really have to say that I have of course seen this uh, since I finished it and I love the way it worked out so we're gonna probably fade to uh, having this completed there are several cuts in this video and I have sped it up so I am not coloring in real time but um, but I did want you to see how the colors all work together and how to do some of the things. Uh, I do gemstones uh, around the entire outside edge so and also how these colors work together. Uh, this once again leaves do not need to be green. Uh, in this particular case my leaves are this very pretty sort of not quite terracotta uh, more to the salmon-y side of terracotta but it, how it looks so good with this gold over the top of it and that gold is deceiving because it comes out of the browns section of the pencil so it's actually more like a mustard brown and mustard brown is one of my favorite shades i use it all the time in my ink tent set so i really love the way that this turns out guys i gotta say that um I haven't been as happy with the coloring in a while. It's just got such beautiful colors in it. And um, these Deli Star Joy pencils, for a budget pencil, you know, these were, I, and I said this on Sunday, these were a gift from somebody who uh, had been gifted. She'd been sort of, they're basically what they are is they're the poly 
Chromos knockoffs, um, and they're sold under a lot of different names. But Deli Starjoy is is the box that they came in, and um, they they just lay down so smooth. They are a true layering pencil, uh, and you know, as much as I enjoy my water mediums, I forget how much I really enjoy coloring with these particular pencils. Um, I love my Prismacolors. Don't get me wrong, I do love them, but. Um, but there's just something very special about these. And they're less than, I, I think they're like $30, $26.99 for $72. And they do this well. I, it's just really hard to go wrong with this particular set of pencils. There is a link for them below. It is my own Amazon affiliate link if you'd like to give them a try. Um, but I can attest to the fact that they are a really nice pencil. Really, really nice pencil. And uh, so, you know, as I'm working on these leaves and... and uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the depth of color that you get because I don't, uh, I'm not one of those colorists that wants to spend hours and hours and hours layering and doing perfect blends. I just want it to look good and, um, you know, and, and if my tools can help me get it to do that in a shorter period of time than, you know, layering a super hard pencil um, does, then I'm just happy as a camper about that. So this was a lot of fun to color. And I did this. The reason why I'm voicing it over is because I'm listening to a audiobook. Uh, I think that what I'm listening to is Pamela. And the reason that I'm listening to it is uh, now Pamela, as for those who might not know, is largely thought to be the first romantic novel. It was written by um, Samuel Richardson in pretty much the 1600s. And it is about a a young girl in service, uh, 1600s, maybe, it might be 1800s. It's a young girl in service, um, named Pamela. She's a seamstress for a, a uh, for a, a woman of title, and um, she's 15 years old, and the the woman dies and she is, uh, you know, she's left a little bit of money, like, you know, five pounds, which was a lot, or five guineas, um, which I guess is what pounds used to be. Um, and, but she's left sort of in the care of this woman's son. Uh, and uh, he has um, impure designs on her, shall we say. And um, so her job is, is to guard her virtue. And so the name of the book is Pamela or Virtue Rewarded. And so uh, it's about 21 hours of uh, of recorded audio time to get through the entire book. And it's done apparently in three volumes. Um, and you know, it, and so she's she's sort of fighting off the advances of uh, this young man and doing it in the form of letter writing. And so she writes letters to her parents. And, to, and this is how the narration of this goes. Uh, anyway, um, now I'm working on the flowers. And uh, I've done a couple on Sunday. But I love the way that this works out. Now, if you'll notice, what I'm doing here is using this sort of medium of the blues. Once again, I've got three colors. So I'm using the medium blue and leaving that sort of white jaggedy uh, spot in the middle of each one of these petals. And then I'm going to go over that with the lighter blue and color those in uh, and then use darker blue to uh, really set those petals off. It gives them a pretty sheen. And uh, I, I like that look. I like the, I like that sort of shiny look and just like I did the um, the sort of gemstone there in the center of the um, of the the fan wheel. So as we get closer to this, okay. So this is what the story is on this. Uh, at, at any rate, uh, in in Pamela, I I know how it ends. Uh, you know, she successfully fights off all of his advances, even though he pulls some pretty dirty tricks on her before the uh you know before the this the book is over. Uh, it, it, 
And in reading it in today's sensibilities, we would, it's basically nonsense. But, you know, this is a woman who, whose virtue, whose virginity is, uh, you know, is, is the only thing that she's got of any value to trade. And so she wants to be sure that before she gives it to anybody, uh, and of course she is highly religious and her parents, you know, have, have always told her that their, your virtue is the thing that you, you know, that you guard always and don't ever give it up lightly a lot of that. So it, you have to read it with that sensibility in mind. But I started listening to it because I was watching a series on PBS where it was it's discussing modern day views of love and how they are different uh, than they were at the time that these novels were originally written. And basically blaming the novels for what we call romantic love now. That, you know, that it used to be that romantic love grew and now we expect it to start out that way. And so that's what that was. But um, anyway, so the story on this. Okay. So now this is what this ultimately is, is it's the it's it's the ventilation system to the fairy underground or to the dwarf underground. Now, the dwarves and the elves, of course, live, uh, well, elves live in trees, fairies live wherever fairies live, and um, and dwarves live in the ground. And But they need ventilation system. And, of course, dwarves uh, are good tunnel diggers, so they've dug a tunnel, and the elves maintain the ventilation system. So the stairway, which you see going up, up the side uh, in between the what will eventually be the gemstones and the purple railing that's a stairway going up uh, is how the elves access the fan to turn it on and off or service it or do whatever the fairies were in charge of decorating it which is why it has beautiful blue flowers and uh, beautiful gemstones and all of that but basically it's just an air intake a ventilation and you can see that the flowers spin on that wheel and they suck the air down into the elves or into the dwarves so that they can breathe as they're doing their mining. And so that is my contribution for a February. Uh, it's just, I think it's pretty funny. Anyway, uh, I do love these blue flowers. I love the colors that I chose for them. And I really like the way all these colors are working together. <laughs> as far as February goes, it shows that I should pay better attention to my invites uh, on Facebook because I was invited to participate in the event and I did not know anything about it so uh, I do apologize to Shelly uh, Paisani who put the thing together and all of the artists who contributed beautiful drawings for it and all of that uh, I just this is the only way that I could participate was a little bit after the fact and I'm happy to do that as well I know that on Sunday by the time that uh, I went stream I streamed live people were uh, you know were had spent you know, a good 48 hours uh, on February uh, 2020, which I just think is a great idea. Um, and perhaps we're a little burned out on it. <laughs> so, although who could be burned out on all those pretty fairies? Um, anyway, the, uh, the, you know, part of this, uh, I, and I do, uh, when I, I said that I sped it up, uh, there is a, a fair amount of fading in and fading out too. Like I only do a couple of these flowers and, uh, you know, then I'll fade it out and do another part and all of that. What I really want to do uh, with this shorter version of a video is to show you uh, how I do, uh, you know, a particular thing uh, and, you know, hopefully with your own uh, color choices you can then duplicate if you like the style um, or you can use the same kinds of colors that I've used. Once again uh, if the Deli pencils, or the Deli Star Joys have one downfall. It is that there is no, there are no color names. Um, there's only numbers on these pencils. And I could put the numbers down, but um, they're pretty self-explanatory. The This set is very, very true to the uh, outer coating. So, you know, the, the coating on the outside of the pencil really is the color that you get. And that is one of the things that I really like about, uh, you know, unlike uh, the Prismacolors that are all black, uh, these actually have colors and therefore, uh, to me, uh, it makes it a little bit easier to actually see what colors you're going for. Now, one of the things that I am doing with this particular video, and especially this voiceover, you may notice that uh, 
that you didn't have to switch it to one and a half speed, which is, I always recommend that when you watch my videos on YouTube, that you watch them at one and a half. And uh, the reason, of course, is, is because I talk notoriously slowly. And uh, so what I've done is, as I'm doing this voiceover, I am simply eliminating all of the space between my words. I'm editing it out, and hopefully this version of a video is a little more dynamic and a little more interesting to listen to rather than, um, you know, listening to me stumble over words, uh, which occasionally happens as I get uh, uh, uhs, you know, too many uh, uh, uhs. And uh, all right, so now I'm using this beautiful yellow. I love this golden yellow and just doing the pointillism in the center, just simply straight coloring it, uh, you know, light shade, not worrying over much about filling in every little white spot, just more giving the idea that it's uh, gold, you know, like gold nuggets, you know, you know, that that's it. It's gold nugget. And uh, they're all fused together that the, the elves and the dwarves have been busy working their magic and they've, they've put this, you know, they, they, they've welded all these gold nuggets into place on top of this ventilator cap. <laughs> Still telling myself that story. I love the way that that looks. And uh, then I'm going to grab a dusky purple. This has got, got to be my favorite color of purple. It is pretty similar to the color that I used in my bedroom. Uh, all my bedroom walls uh, are this color, this sort of dusky, uh, smoky purple. And I I'm really coloring very, very lightly. I don't want to cover up the lines. Uh, I just want to tint them purple. So once again, fade to work on the other side, almost done. And voila, there it is. What comes next? Oh, next come the stairs. All right. So uh, working on the stairway here uh, for the elves, I've got, this is the Payne's Gray, what I would consider the Payne's Gray. And I have differentiated it uh, in the box, once again with no names, as being the Blue Gray. So in this box, there are three good grays. There is this brown gray, which is uh, a warm gray. Then there's the Blue Gray, which is the Payne's Gray. And then there is this sort of, if I didn't, it's, it's not a black color. It is more a super dark, dark, dark purple. And if you, if you base it out with just a, the lightest of shades, it actually looks a little bit purple. Um, but it, you know, but it isn't. And then I will also go over these steps and then I'm not, I'm not by any means, I'm not done darkening them yet, but, uh, I'll go over these steps with light lavender and it really makes the, uh, sort of, you know, idea of this concrete step, this, you know, sort of purpley gray color. It, uh, it really pops and I like the way that it looked. There it is. Okay, and so there we go. All those concrete steps are now done and I get to move on to gemstones. Gemstones are one of my favorite things to do and uh, you will note that they are, they, they make an appearance in almost all of the drawings that I have done, uh, certainly in the most recent ones. Um, and I always envision clear glass gemstones. I uh, will always say that if you want to learn to color uh, precious stones, that the person to go to is Rose Rambo at uh, Vitruvian Art, uh, Vitruvian like the Vitruvian Man, um, and she does have a channel here on YouTube. It is chock full of tutorials on how to do gemstones. Uh, most of mine are clear glass, mostly because that's the ones I know how to do, uh, and that is what I'm doing here. I have tested out uh, and settled on a pattern of six colors, being blue, yellow, orange, turquoise, green, and purple, and uh, uh, so now I'm just setting about making those um, gemstones. Most of them are done with either two or three pencils. In the case of the blue, it's two, a dark and a, the light pencil, you know, the light blue. That is the same light blue, by the way, that I used in the blue flowers. And the, uh, the aqua 
uh, or the, the sort of turquoisey aqua gemstones are actually two different pencils uh, more. One of the things about the Delhi pencils is, is that they have a ton of really gorgeous blues. Uh, and so they those came from the blue-green side of the box. And now yellow. Yellow is notoriously hard to do. And um, you'll notice that as I'm working on this one, it's not showing up very well. So I go back and uh, add some detail in darker colors to the one that I've already done. Here's where I'm doing that. And that way, it, it uh, you can actually sort of see closer to what I'm doing. It really starts with just a smaller rectangle in the center of the gemstone and then darkening up the outer edges while keeping enough light uh, on the, the top of the stone or, you know, the bottom edge of the stone to make it look like it's there's light shining through it. And uh, I have certainly done a number of tutorials on gemstones uh, in all kinds of mediums with uh, markers, with pencils, with uh, ink tents, with all kinds of different things. All right, so now I get to move on to the orange. The orange, of course, is my favorite because it shows up so well. Um, and so I'll do the, the I, as I go along here, I'll show you the, the orange, the turquoise, the green, and then finally the purple. And, uh, and then we'll call it a video. But uh, I, once again, this is, has been such fun for me to color. I uh, really love the way that the colors worked together on this. I am a jewel tone person, so this, this one was right up my alley. I hope that it is up yours as well. And I would like it if you would consider commenting, uh, not only on the video format that I have used for this video, which is a little different than my normal color and chat. Uh, not only is it voiced over, but it's, uh, you know, sped up and it's hopefully, like I say, a little more dynamic, a little more interesting, uh, a little less likely to put you to sleep. Unless, of course, that's why you watch my videos. I will be doing the old way uh, as well for those of you who I uh, nightly get to put to sleep. I, I, uh, I, I find that charming, actually, that uh, folks like to listen to me yak while they are trying to fall asleep. I have a certain folks that I do that with as well and, uh, or, you know, that I listen to late in the evening when I'm working on something and just wanting to be mellowed out. Uh, I love, of course, listening to Anne at A Colorful Life, and I love visiting with Mrs. Coffee over at uh, at uh, at Mrs. Coffee and Crochet uh, Diamond Painting, uh, and just listening to her life and uh, you know, and just generally my YouTube uh, time in general. I of course love listening to Dee Dee, and I missed her. Uh, two days this week, uh, both Monday and Wednesday. So I'm going to have to watch the playbacks on those. We did have a bit of uh, drama in our neighborhood. Uh, we lost a, a neighborhood member. It was totally unexpected. It was not there. We have a couple of folks who, who are known to be ill, uh, but this was one that was thought to be healthy. And uh, uh, he, he quite simply dropped dead and, uh, and left his uh, wife, who is quite ill, uh, in a bit of a quandary. So uh, the neighbors, of course, were all watching out to make sure that, you know, everything looks okay over at her house. They are notoriously private people. And so we, not, you know, we we have not particularly gone over because we know that she would not enjoy that. Uh, but, uh, you know, we are watching out to make sure that there is somebody going in to look after her. Uh, and so that is what I did. And one of the reasons why I did not get this video out on Monday when I hoped that I would. So this is the first chance I've had to actually get back to it. And uh, at any rate, okay, so now we're working on the purple one. And the green one turned out pretty well as far as the ideal of how it should go. And the purple doesn't turn out half bad either. So I, you know, they're not all going to be perfect all the time. But I do hope that you have enjoyed watching this video and that you will consider leaving me a kindly worded comment uh, as to what you thought of it. <clears throat> and uh, as I finish up here, I just want to say thank you to all of you who have listened uh, to me today and who have um, uh, purchased things in my Etsy shop this week. Uh, every sale is so appreciated. You have no idea how much. So uh, until we meet again, please do color something pretty and enjoy your coloring. Remember, it's always an adventure and it's yours. Make up a story, make it your own. 
Bye, everybody.